Hey guys, Dylan Schumacher with Citadel Defense. And uh, today I wanted to make a quick little video here because it is Monday when I'm filming this. I'll try to get this uploaded tonight. And on Friday, we had a Trump rally in town. I'm in the Minneapolis Twin City area and uh, we had Donald Trump come to visit. I did not go, but I did see some of the Twitter footage of Trump supporters leaving the rally. Guys, so what happened here is some hats were stolen and burned from people who uh, came down and basically snatched them off Trump supporters and then they let a fire and kind of burned them all together. Pretty crazy. As you can see, they uh, they had an interesting time. So I just want to make this quick video because I kind of feel compelled to comment on it only because it's happening right here in my backyard. Uh, but these are the same people who want common sense gun control. Uh, from those clips, it's pretty obvious why they want common sense gun control because they don't want you to be armed when the literal mob comes for them. I also find it ironic that and the people who claim to be anti-fascist, the, the people who claim to be against Nazis, are doing the exact same thing that Hitler did. And what I mean by that is they're using physical violence to intimidate their political opponents. Uh, when Hitler would go and speak in certain beer halls and gatherings and whatever, he would have people, the brown shirts, right, the SS, who would uh, follow him and come with him. And when there was a heckler or there was something who was saying something like against him or he didn't like or whatever, they would literally bash their skull in. That's, that's what they did. That's part of the way Hitler was able to rise to power is because he uses violence to silence his political opponents. So sweet irony that the people that claim to be uh, against uh, Nazis and, and against fascism are using the exact same tactics that Hitler himself used. I just find that deeply ironic. So I just want to comment on this, put a little video out there for you to think about it, but there is a reason you will get my gun from my cold dead hands, and it's because uh, without my gun, this is where things go, right? A mob of people surrounding you, yelling at you about things they don't like uh, that you're wearing or that you're, they think you're thinking or that you're saying and trying to physically intimidate and uh, attack you. And at some point, mark my words, someone's going to get beaten to death for being a Trump supporter. It's just going to happen uh, because the violence is going to continue to escalate. Uh, that, that's unfortunately and sadly how these things go. So stay safe, stay strapped, vote accordingly, and never, under any circumstances, give up your rights. Do brave deeds and endure.